Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. Oh my god, don't panic, don't freak out, this is actually legit and not rumor, thanks to Brian K. Vaughn at New York Comic Con panel this weekend, Saga is coming back, and it is official with issue 55, January 22nd, or 26th, uh, right here actually, and I am tickled, I am so, I got goosebumps everywhere, it's finally back, I never gave up hope, I knew that this was coming back, it was just a matter of when and, and how they were going to be able to do it. And this is, this was such a crazy weekend. My phone was constantly going off every couple of minutes, and it was just nuts. That first that panel hit, and literally you got people sitting in the panel dropping pictures from on Twitter and IG and other places. And my phone kept blowing up as these things were coming in live. Like literally, I we're just at home doing things, and they just I just keep getting this live stream from friends and everybody out in the community. It was fantastic, because I actually felt like I was at New York Comic Con, thanks to everybody in the community, even though I didn't get a chance to go. And Kevin, real quick, I will bounce right over to that. I gotta give a big shout out to Paul Dunn on IG, who spent a chunk of his convention time and made this happen for me. Like, random IG live phone call. Like, what is going on? Oh, my God. You're in line? Oh, my God. That's Brian K. Vaughn. Oh, is my that God. Matt DeVoe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Brian K. Vaughn. <laughs> I, I am so pumped and so amped. And I, hope you, I, hope you guys have, I hope you guys have some, some input on this because I know I am, like, over through the moon with Saga. We're getting 54 more issues. That is another four and a half years of regular releases from Saga, if not a little bit more, depending on breaks. <clears throat> That's 12 issues a year, four and a half years, could be five, I don't know, but it's back, and I'm going to get to experience the rest of this story issue to issue, and I'm just over the moon. I got to know what you guys think. I'm reading it digitally. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, I... I'll pipe in. I, I mean, as you know, Andy, I'm a Saga fan along with you. I don't know if I if my 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 blood is alien blue like yours might be but um True. that that's the book that kind of brought me back into comics again whatever it was about five five six years ago when i picked it up and started reading uh, i'm excited i uh i i really want to get a hold of one of those copies like yours i don't know they're going for a good 120, 130, 150 now, but uh, one of those advanced versions of of that uh, 55. But no, man, I am. That's just a print. It's not even an issue. All it is is a print. Those things are they're at. It's literally. I don't have it. Paul's gonna mail it to me here soon. But it's just a print of the cover. It's not an issue. Oh, oh really? I thought it was the issue. No, it's not out. So right. Did, so did I. I was panicking all weekend, thinking, "Oh my god, it's an issue. I gotta find one." But no, it's 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 not. It's just a print. Sorry. Okay, mm. well that that helps my decision making on that. I appreciate that. Yeah, but that's that's even more impressive that they're going for 150 bucks. What? I I think they're listed as as advanced copies. I think that's why people are people. Are, oh man, that's so switch. stupid. That's <laughs> so dumb. No, but I'm a I'm an option guy. I love you know when I read something awesome on screen or on the page. I I do envision it on screen. I love movies. I, um, I want to, I want to see that eventually somehow, somewhere. Uh, I really do. Uh, I, uh, so, but I think it's going to be a long time. <laughs> if we're only halfway through, he's not going to pull a game of Thrones and have the movies try to outpace the comics. Whew. Yeah. I, um, I, not the biggest saga fan i'll be straight up but i mean i'll be interested to see how how this goes um yeah andy you win the award on uh 
on, on the saga enthusiasm. Uh, but you like a saga letter jacket. Oh yeah, that would be yeah. awesome. There's all kind of stuff. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Bro- Broke yeah, out Andy, the whole I, family. Broke out the I, whole family for this weekend. You should I see his horns. Up. I just put up my uh, second print, 9.8, and my fifth print, 9.8, on eBay. Wait, wait. What are you got to – no, don't pull those down, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, dude, I'm looking at these prints. I mean, the cheapest one now is like 199 bucks. So that says pretty good bit about the <clears throat> fan base. So, I mean, I know a lot of people are excited for it. So it'll be, it'll be good, good to see what happens. Saga is a really unique property that has like way more crossover appeal than most comic book series. There's a lot of non-comic book readers that read Saga. It it reminds me more than anything of Watchmen, to be honest, in its crossover appeal. And it's like heat and how everyone's dying to see it become live action. So there's like so much heat building for it to become li- like so much hope and aspirations for it. Um yeah, so congratulations, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely say like Andy was up here, and then I was. Just, <laughs> I hate to say it, I was more like, meh. Well, me. I got a question. Why are they only doing uh, what is it? Four uh, ninety-eight issues? Are they only doing ninety-eight issues? One hundred and four. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Well, how many? How many? Yeah, you're right. 104. Why are they only doing 104? Why 54 and 54? Why does Brian K. Vaughn do the things he does? I don't know. That's for maybe something he'll answer in time. I was about to say that. That's 108. Y'all's math yeah, is like nine. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that is How correct. many does Walking Dead do? Like 107? Not to like some weird 180 right something. Curtain, it was just like I'm out. No, I'm way off. Walking Dead was almost I mean, it's way more than that, but it was... 190. I think Walking Dead ended in 197. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it was like a random. Silly. Yeah. Maybe he's doing like a lyrical pattern. Random. They they had a huge hiatus at fifty four, and they're going to do another fifty four issues, like fifty four. That's that's the saga. The damn hiatus. I mean, I like completely forgot about it. It's like, oh yeah, what happened there? There's a whole momentum. The good thing is it's an attractive title, and I will say, saga. If you haven't read it, which most people have. It's one of the best comic books if you want, and it's one of the best stories to get someone into comic books. Like, you know, my wife has read the hard oh. covers. Um, I've gotten the hard covers. I've got floppies. I got trades. Um, there's that slipcase, all nine volumes of the trade paperbacks that was just going up for full final or cutoff not too long ago. Those will be available. They come with exclusive prints in it, as well. You know, you pay 150 for the whole thing, maybe even less, and get six prints instead of paying 150 for one print but you guys so 108 is actually the number of beads in a mala necklace that's used for meditation in buddhism and different cultures like in tibet and stuff it's 108 is the number and you go around it's like so it could be related to that and some sort of spiritualism symbolism that's Um, cool that's what i mean that's like that's not that's that's not random at all there's but it's a famous number in buddhism and yeah yeah let's let's play a little game uh, everybody what's your prediction for the print run for issue 55 andy what you got uh, not it's not going to be anywhere near as high as i think people might speculate i no think variance print, none of that stuff there's yeah there's no variance there there's I nothing mean, so so i think the print run's going to be pretty standard coming from image to be honest with you i mean if we look standard at standard for saga is what 70 around there uh yeah i think is 50 55 to 65 roughly just under 70 uh issue one was about 37 or 36 ish thousand copies i think the fan base that's there now is probably going to push this in the realm this is just my honest honest guess based on the fan bases we're going to probably see somewhere between 80 and 100 thousand I think. I think we're going to see. I'm saying oh, 170. I'm thinking maybe double from what we were seeing before. Is the fan base is there, but to be honest with you, a lot of people kind of moved on after three three year hiatus. And we forgot yeah, to mention that it was full dude three got years. Shot man, we got to find out who shot Jr. Yeah. All right. So Andy, Andy, you got what did you say? Eighty. I'll go with a hundred thousand. Hundred. Okay. Brian, Brian's at one seventy. 
What about you, McClay? One seventy. Um, I'm saying uh, I think I think uh, eighty to hundred is probably smack dab. One okay. one dollar. Right, yeah, same because it's issue fifty five, y'all. You know, and and a lot of the kids that love the series, the crossover, they're reading trade. They're not reading it in single issue. They they never did. Um, so I'd be surprised if it. Man, right. if Spawn Andy, can sell the way it's selling. Yeah, I gotta put some power behind Saga marketing. I I think it's gonna be lower. Like I, I, I mean, first thinking, yeah, hundred thou, but I don't think. I'm thinking you're gonna be like sixty to seventy in you know, that if range. This, if this is yeah. Price is Right rules, then you might you might be yeah, the winner. Dollar, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. Definitely. I'm I'm gonna go on record. I'm I'm up there with Brian. I think. Uh, I mean, the print run is going to be determined solely by the LCSs, right? It, it, there aren't retailer variants. It's just how many copies they want to have on the shelf. Uh, saga trades, you know, saga back issues, those move for, for local comic shops. So I don't think they will mind having a stack of these sit on the shelf for, you know, a couple of months if that's what it takes to get rid of them. Uh, and I think... You know, this is the title that they're going to push on their readers, a lot of the readers who don't know anything about Saga. So we are paying 150 yeah, for a print, go, bro. <laughs> I'm going to go, you said 170, I'm going to go one, 170,000 and one. <laughs> there we go. I, Price is right. <laughs> after after a three-year hiatus, oh. it's, it's the first first copy back, and people aren't going to wait for that trade. People, the, the, the fan base for Saga is not going to wait for that trade to come out. That first arc is done. So literally, it's six months later. However long later they're going to release the trade, but but the fans aren't going to wait for the trade. So I'm 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 still kind of sticking to my guns around a hundred thousand, maybe maybe plus or minus a few thousand. But yeah, I'm thinking lower end. Uh, I, I really do. All right, all right. Well, mark this timestamp right here. Mm -hmm. We'll go back and check it out. Yeah, this is a show to to mark anyway. Drew's first appearance was on on here, so make sure. <laughs> keep it keep it marked you never know he could do big things <laughs> yeah.